This is an ultrasound study that relates to the study of the gallbladder. Patient uh, presented with the complaint of uh, mild epigastric pain for the last <coughs> few days. Initially, he was not aware of any of these uh, find, uh, findings, had never had an ultrasound or any other procedure performed. Now, what we see is that this is the gallbladder. Okay, and uh, why it is in gallbladder? You can see the portal vein is at right angles to the neck of the GB. Bit common by duct running anterior to this is the CBD, this is the portal vein. Now this is the wall of the gallbladder, anterior wall of the gallbladder. This, this, this is the fundus, this is the posterior wall. Internally, you see multiple echogenic uh, uh, tiny particles, few giving shadow, but not dark shadow, no sharp shadow except for one. And here in the anterior wall, you will see that uh, there are again, this is the anterior wall, measuring 6.0. With uh, fl fluid within it, appears to be that it contains fluid within it. It's black, and uh, it has two layers: one inner and the one outer. In between, if you if you concentrate on this this region, you will see ecogenic particles within the wall of the uh, gallbladder that do not shadow. Now, these can be cholesterol calculi or now you see one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's very small, tiny. Can be uh, they, now these can be uh, cholesterol calculi or polyps in the diverticula of the uh, in the diverticulum, multiple diverticulum in the anterior wall. And uh, <coughs> this uh, finding is consistent with adenomyosis of the gallbladder, which is a non-inflammatory condition in which hyperplasia uh, and uh, intramural diverticula are present. So apart from these uh, calculi, tiny calculi, we do see calculi in the thick uh, anterior wall that are cholesterol in nature or small polyps in nature and uh, consistent with adenomyomatosis of the, liver, of the gallbladder and or uh, the other name for it is uh, rocket ensis escop sinuses rocientis escop sinuses let's study it again a okay, bit detail little detail this is with patient in left lateral decubitus posture and i would like to magnify it to the possible clear extent that we can uh, now, if you see that these calculi are not the typical calcified calculi containing calcium, oxalates, and uh, uh, other minerals, rather these are cholesterol calculi. Only 4.3 mm is the largest one measuring, and see the anterior wall. Now, this is the anterior wall, the inner, the outer layer and in between you see the ecogenic particles within it. This is a magnified view, please do remember this. This is the transfer section of the magnified view of the gallbladder and again you will see a <coughs> thick, the anterior wall is appearing thick because of uh, the type of hyperplasia uh, and or uh, intramural diverticuli with calculi these are small tiny calculi within uh, its human so this is a case not representative of uh, acute cholecystitis rather uh, it's a case of uh, adenomyosis of the lip of the kit of the uh, gallbladder. 
you know, one thing is diagnostic of uh, adenomyosis in such cases, and that is the common tail artifact, small ring down artifact. This here you see that this is the small ring down artifact C. Although not all, but here and then you can we can make out uh, the artifact from the these are all cholesterol calculi few of them being are calcified no doubt and the gallbladder bladder is not distended it measures in transfer sections uh, only 3.7 cm so more than 5 is considered to be uh, dilated gallbladder. bladder patient in referential decubitus posture so this is a case of uh, adenomyosis of the gallbladder or rockin and cis escop Sinuses. Here you see the port ruin and here you can see the temple. Thank you very much.